how did I get my job? You can't even tell someone to save because it's someone that is seeing money that would save. Honestly, this question is very dicey because what's next after NYSC? Are you going to law school, law firm, banking, all of that? People are going to talk, don't feel shy. And I was like, side, I, I get to dictate how people see me. Windows are now one of are you in a relationship. We have a lot to unpack. <laughs> hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi my name is choma i am a lagos based creator thank you for tuning in if you want to find out what i get up to on a weekly basis you should definitely subscribe because i post weekly vlogs now back to this in this video i'm basically going to be answering all the questions you guys had for me on instagram so i put up a question poll i should probably start by saying i literally just finished serving finished last week actually and this video is just basically a life update what's next video and basically talking about my experience for the past year because i feel like i have a lot to say but besides that i feel like i really like the questions that came in because you guys had a lot to ask me on instagram but i just picked i think about 20 questions because i feel like most of them were like repeated so these are the ones that just cover everything and i actually really like the questions but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram trema okay underscore now without talking too much let's get into this video i don't know if you guys noticed that our setup is very different today normally when i'm filming videos like this i'm always on my dressing table doing my makeup but i was just like i want to be very comfortable i don't want to be tense just speaking and answering all the questions if that makes sense so this might be my new vibe well except i'm doing my makeup because definitely white shit but let me know what you guys think anyways first question we have here how are you doing i feel like generally i'm fine i'm doing okay I mean, because if you guys know me, whenever I experience change, it's always like very scary. I feel like for the first month, I don't adjust well. Like, because obviously I went from going to work every day, having something to do every day, to just chilling now. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I am so used to being on the go. Like, I always want to have something to do. I don't know, it's just a, I don't know if it's a problem technically, but, but yeah, that's just it. I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I mean, here and there, I'll just have like random ways of sadness. But aside that, like, on a general scale, like, compared to like, no, yeah, I'm good. I feel like I'm doing very, very fine. Thank you for asking. Next question, what did you study in school? Do you know when I saw this question, I was like, side eye, but then I was like, oh, it's Instagram. The Instagram family, they don't really know me that well because the OGs on YouTube know I studied. Like, ask them anywhere, anytime, and they know because I vlogged my whole uni experience and the vlogs are still there. You can definitely go and catch up the highs and the lows, every single thing I vlogged it. So yeah. I study law. Next question, some tips for NYC to make it less stressful. Oh my goodness, baby. This question is a lot. We have a lot to unpack, okay? I'm going to start from camp. Because if you guys know me, like I went for camp and a lot of people don't actually stay at camp. Like they just give an excuse to leave. But personally, I wanted to stay, not because, oh, I wanted the experience. No, because I wanted to vlog it. That's honestly it. Like, if I could vlog it without being there, honestly, I would have taken that. But that was the only way to actually vlog it and document the experience properly because I just really wanted to just have that part of my journey on my channel. That's the only reason why I said I can't. Do I recommend staying at camp? No, I do not. <laughs> if you don't have anything, like, particular that you want to do, just do not. Because, honestly, till today, whoever is in charge of renovating that hall, hostel, I don't know what you call it, the living space, the bathrooms, and hasn't done that for whatever reason best known to them honestly your judgment is waiting for you i don't know how you guys can be so fine with people living in such you know what you just have to know to know you have to experience it to know anyways i served at lagos camp i will tell you what helped me personally was obs at camp but don't get me wrong i didn't just go there to hide i was actually working but i would rather do work there and not be on the parade ground not be under the sun not be there for the lectures but I was in the media room. So I joined, or I joined like the first or second day. I already went to media and I was like, oh, I want to join. So I was like, I think director or something. So for a camp, like I would say OBS helped me a lot. And I just was around people. That's actually where I made my friends. Because you guys know, I went to camp without like, didn't post me with anybody I knew. So I made my friends at OBS and we're all just together. It was just chilled, good vibes. Then after um, camp, you guys know, I worked at a marketing agency. I think that was one of the questions here. So let me just answer that now. I worked at a marketing agency. I never actually said where I worked, but don't get me wrong, I wasn't hiding it. I just never actually said, oh, this is where I work. But I worked at a marketing agency. It was okay, it was calm. And it was like a hybrid working system, like go to the office twice a week. There are obviously other jobs that would pay more, but then you're going to work five times a week. And for me, this NYSC year was kind of a year where I wanted to actually push myself content creation wise. Like 
I wanted to give myself time to be able to see, okay, is this really, because you know, in uni, it was just like, I don't want to say a hobby because I actually took serious, but it was kind of like a hobby in that sense. So I was just like, okay, let me give myself this year to know if this is actually something that I could be doing moving forward. I'm really happy I actually decided to take that step. But so I was like, you know what, let me take this job. It's going to the office twice a week, working from home. But don't get me wrong, it was stressful. Like the bad was bad, <laughs> but the good was also really good. The main good thing was just the fact that I had the opportunity to still be a content creator because if I was working in a place where I was going to the office five times a week, because obviously I had the option to work. In, I had various options, but I was like, no, waking up every single day and just going, maybe it's because I just knew that I had plans after that or that year. But it's a thing where it's like, if you feel like you don't have like any plans after NYSE, like maybe you don't have master's plan, or any other thing plan, and you know that you want them to retain you, you might have to just <laughs> quit on all your other side hustles and just, you know, focus on working in a place that you know that they would retain you and you just want to move further with your career. But yeah, that's just basically it. Sacrifices and just prioritizing what you know really matters to you. For me, my content creation was definitely a priority. So when picking the job, when looking for where to work, I had to pick like, okay, I want a place that would give me the opportunity to work from home because I still want to be a content creator. I don't want to be choked. I don't want to start losing weight or like stressing out just because I'm only filming weekends. You get that type of thing. NYC, and I just literally just came out of five years of struggle in uni. So I was like, no way in hell. I'm jumping into the system of like waking up, getting home 9 p.m. Next day you're up at 4 a.m. It was just not what I wanted to get to. That's basically what I would say for tips to make NYC less stressful. Just don't take a job that is too deep, except you just want to further your career immediately after and you want them to retain you. But next question How is it like putting yourself out there? as a creator any tips i love it i love putting myself out there as a creator and i feel like the main reason why i love it is because i get to dictate how people see me basically i get to paint my life i get to paint whatever reality i want the world to see it's more of a thing where because if you know i'm a lifestyle vlogger aside being a fashion creator and a beauty creator i'm also a lifestyle vlogger i'm able to take 20 minutes from the whole week and just put in a weekly vlog edit it decide what style i want decide the whatever 20 minutes i want to pick from the whole week and let you guys see so i get to decide how i want my life to be so i could be rotting in bed for three days but i'm editing my 20 minutes vlog i don't know i just really love it i just love being a creator and i don't mind putting my life out there because whatever i actually put out there i've approved it i'll be watching my own vlogs back that's how you know that i love being a creator just like at the end of the week you're just putting your vlog out and then i'm on my bed i'm just like damn like you might actually be fun like who knows because you guys know like i'll be in my bed i'll be in my room okay I'm just like, oh, okay. You, you ate like one, that, that one little thing you get. But yeah, that's just basically it for me. I really love it. Any tips, I would just say, start from the onset, putting out things you're comfortable with and don't care about anybody on the internet because trust me, these people, they're just seeing you for five minutes. If they laugh at you, if they say anything, it doesn't matter. They have problems they're dealing with. Trust me, in like 10 minutes, they'll forget. Because in the end, like everybody sees things on the internet and we laugh, we're like, oh, yeah, this is it. But it's like, you go about your day. It's just like, people are going to talk. Anybody that is here saying, you know what, people talking, just, just, Get, I think you need to get used to it now. People are going to talk. Don't feel shy. Don't feel scared. Put your content out. If they laugh, let them laugh. They will go back and face their real life troubles. Trust me, you are not their problem. You get just keep telling yourself that I'm not this person's problem. I'm going to put my content out. They can go and laugh, but they'll move on. You get. And anybody that remembers like two days later and still laughs again, that's their business. Like it's still their business. You get. I don't think you should care. Just put what you're comfortable. Like you know that okay, you you can go back and actually watch this video. If I can't watch my video up to three times, then that video is not going out. Just put your content out honestly, guys. Like don't care. Tips. Put what you're comfortable with, and trust me, once you're comfortable with that content, nobody else can tell you anything. You get. Yeah. Next question. How do you save and splurge and do it responsibly? <laughs> I feel like the tumor of last year, I would have told you that, oh, I'm the worst person to ask this question, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I would say prioritize what you're spending your money on. And I'm not even trying to be someone that's coming here to give you... I know that the economy is very hard now. The economy is so hard now. Like, you can't even tell someone to save because it's someone that is seeing money that would save. Do you get? But I will tell you, prioritize what you're spending your money on. Anything you feel you can do yourself, do it and cut costs. In the sense of, you know, me personally, I'm such a DIY babe. Well, it's not even technically a money thing for me, but it has also helped me to save money. Because if you know me, like, right from, like, when I was, like, really young, I've loved hair so much. I love styling my hair. I love making my hair. I love watching the hair content. I just love everything about my hair and, like, styling it, basically. So I'm able to style my hair myself. I don't pay for anything hair-related. The only thing I'll pay for now is, like, I went to get this sewing installed. It cost 6 k And I've had it on for, like, two months now. I just, every time I restyle it, it looks new do you get obviously maybe buying the hair but like i don't even buy hair that often so basically styling my hair 
I do it myself, so I'm able to cut costs. Waxing, baby. Hmm. <laughs> I do not, I definitely did not start waxing just waking up. And I actually used to go to like the wax lady to go and wax. But the money I used to spend, I used to be like, damn, like the hair is literally growing back in three weeks, one month max. If it wasn't a thing of if I go and wax, the wax, the hair, everything is off till like six months, that would be fine. It would justify spending that amount of money. But I was like, there's no way Chioma is going to be spending this money and the hair is growing back in three weeks. Do you if that's what you're fine doing? Like, this is this is a very safe space. Actually, it's not a safe space. But do you, like, I'm not judging anybody that goes to waxing lady. I was just like, there's no way Chema is going to be paying this money every three weeks to get waxed, only for the head to grow back. So I was like, no, waxing is something I'm going to learn. And surprisingly, I just ended up liking it. I don't know, there's just something really exciting about me when wax is coming up. My nails as well. Started doing my nails myself. Like, right now, they're even really cheap because I'm waiting for them to get, like, extremely terrible because I want to film, like, a video gel polish and they last so long, like, I'm like, baby, can you like get off already so I can film a video? But I'm just not going to take them off. That makes sense. What else do I do? I do my lashes myself. To answer this question because I feel like I'm already digressing. Anything you feel you can do yourself, just do it. So for me, I'm able to cut cost on beauty maintenance because baby, beauty maintenance takes up a lot of money. When you actually sit down and check your bank statement, beauty maintenance takes up a lot of money. So I'm able to save money on all of that. I don't pay to get anything done. So I'm able to focus on shopping. But lately, I haven't even been shopping like that because you guys know I order on AliExpress and she and with the dollar rate now 1000 <laughs> nope 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 i just haven't shopped i haven't bought anything in a minute i'm just waiting praying to god that this dollar goes back to whatever it was before because it's just not making sense to me naira fight back like nah naira you have to fight back why haven't i been able to order anything why is dollar 1000 <laughs> It's like i'll look for a vendor in nigeria to be buying clothes from and another thing that i should probably point out that you guys probably do not see on the internet is that i live with family. like literally i'm still at home i do not pay rent so i'm able to save a lot of money on that if you even see me on the internet you're like oh my god this girl has so much this girl i'm not trying to even come here and act like oh i'm broke or anything it's not even that i'm comfortable and i live within my means like i said i'm able to cut costs on the things i can do myself and spend money on other things you get obviously i still have things that i would pay for but I'm not paying like rent in a year, like I'm not saving towards you get that type of thing. That's just basically I'm able to save and splurge. So even the money that I'm making, I still prioritize what I spend it on. You get next question: what kept you going till you got monetized on YouTube? Honestly, I feel like this is the one thing that I'm grateful for. Like I always say, like uni was hell. Uni was hell. I hated uni so much. But the one thing I'm grateful for is my YouTube channel because I started it in uni, I started vlogging in uni, that literally helped me. So I will tell you that what kept me going was the fact that I started my YouTube in uni. So like I said, in uni, it was more like a hobby, but not technically a hobby because I was actually taking it seriously. But I was able to still vlog without like dipping it too much. Like, oh, am I monetized yet? Is there money coming in yet? Do you get like, I was just able to do it because obviously I was still in school. Like it wasn't that deep yet. And then I think I got monetized either the week before I left uni or the week after I left uni. I, I had already hit like 4,000 watt hours like, so close to the end of uni so it was just something that just kept me going i was like okay getting monetized by the time i leave uni would honestly be so cool and so cute so i was like yeah this is what i'm working towards so i'll say for me there was no pressure coming in at that time and i think that was what helped me and that also just kept me going because i didn't really have pressure of like oh using that as my source of income or anything it was just more like a hobby for me and i was just really happy to be doing it happy to be vlogging my life because i just love vlogging like just something that makes me happy but you guys when i was in uni it was mostly vlogs still vlogs though but mostly vlogs then and yeah that's just it i was just hoping to be monetized by the time i left you know so that was just what kept me going okay i have to put out this vlog i need my watch hours i need this i need that but yeah that was it next question what advice would you advise upcoming youtuber no source of income <sighs> honestly this question is very dicey because i know some people are out here like saying oh you don't really need money to be a creator they're lying to you you actually do need money before i used to have that mindset of oh money is not really a, oh baby it is i've learned it the hard way that money is very important but at the same time you shouldn't let it stop you oh, don't let them lie to you money is important like most people that you see that oh they just started and then in like two months like they're just blowing up like and i'm not saying that some people that don't have like a huge source of income like when they start that they will not make it no i'm just trying to say money is well not necessarily the only factor but it's a helping let's just leave it at that anyways i would say create content within your means even if things are not exactly where you want them to be you can just make do with what you have do you get in the sense that even myself when i first started content there were a lot of things that i had and I, oh, i'm going to do this this content 
But at some, at some point, I just had to tell myself that, you know what, Chima, it's just not going to work. Like, you, you can't do this here. You're not there yet. Do you get? And it's not you quitting on yourself. It's just you telling yourself, I'm going to get there. I'm just not there yet. Do you get? So I'll tell you, the first thing I'll tell you, though, as I know for me, it's, but you just need to get a phone with a good camera. You just need to save up and get a phone with a good camera. It doesn't, I'm not necessarily saying any phone. Like, I'm not going to tell you the type of phone to buy. But as long as it has a good camera, honestly, you could make it work. And then get a ring light. Just those two things. And a tripod. Well, your ring light would also serve as your tripod for since it's YouTube we're talking about. I would say get a ring light and get a good phone with a good camera and then just pray. And then just keep grinding and grinding. And honestly, like like I keep saying, like, as a content creator, you would see growth. It might be small, it might be tiny, but you would see growth. Do you get? Next question, did you set up your space yourself? It looks cool. If you did it yourself, I would pay for you to help me with mine. So yes, I did set up my space myself, but unfortunately, it's more like a personal project for now. I feel like eventually I would look into like interior, all of this, because I'm not going to lie, I love anything that has to do with interior. Like I'm constantly on Pinterest, even on TikTok. My TikTok right now is filled with room decor, Amazon finds. When I even go into like someone's room, the first thing that I start looking around is like, oh wow, this bed is here. It would be better here. This, this place could fit a mirror. This place could fit a dress. I just start thinking of how I can like move things around and just make it like, well, technically my style so i don't know that's why i'm feeling like is it more like a personal project or would i be able to work with someone else's taste but it's something that i feel like i could look forward to look into rather in the nearest future and i don't know but for now it's more like a personal project but yes i work on my space myself i'm not fully done i still need a vanity chair so any brand manager or brands watching this video that wants to collaborate with me for a vanity chair and probably wants to gift me fake plants definitely hit me up on Instagram or, you know, send an email, ready to work. But I tend to actually plan to get it done, like, in the next two weeks. I'm going to look for a carpenter because, yeah, I need to get a vanity chair. I'm currently using a stool. I would have more info on that because I plan to do a room tour when I'm done with everything in my room chat. Then I want to get, like, fake plants. I saw one long one, but it's on Amazon. I'm like, I can't order from Amazon. I just have to, I'll figure it out, chat. But, yeah, I did work on my space myself and everything was my idea. But, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Next question, which is the popular question that everybody wants to know. What's next after NYSC? Are you going to law school? What would you want to go for next? Full-time creator, 9 to 5, or business? Well, first things first, do I see myself being a full-time creator for now? No, but never say never. Things could change. I feel like with the way content creation is, I mean, you've probably heard this a lot. It's not stable. This month, you could have, like, so many brand deals. And for the next month, or not necessarily next month, but some months could be very silent. The way I work, and the only thing that gives me peace is just knowing that at the end of every month, salary is coming in one way or another. Not necessarily, I don't necessarily have to do like your typical job, but I just need to have like a job that is bringing in income at the end of every month. Now, obviously, law school, what's next, this, that. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have law school. Don't know when it's going to start, but it's supposed to start this year. I don't really want to talk too much about it. I feel like we'll cover it in the vlog because talking about it really doesn't make me happy. Am I happy to be going? No. Why? Am I looking forward to it? No. Do I like it? No. But am I going to do this because I've already started and I'm not a quitter and I have to finish what I've started? Yes. I feel like that answers everything. I mean, that's it. So that's why I was saying that, oh, with my NYSC, like, I wanted to do something that was very chill because I already knew law school was coming after and there was no way I was going to suffer for one year for NYSC. I'm going to suffer again. No. No way. But you see me, I'm a child of grace and I know my God is going to come through for me this coming year. I'm going to testify because they mean like, everything is going to go smoothly like when i'm even telling people my story they're going to be like this same law school i went to because for me everything works in my favor i'm manifesting it next question somebody asked do you have a man i think there was a noun of are you in a relationship then this one said oh why hasn't your man featured on your channel yet oh baby bffr like guys this is not what we're here for <laughs> funny how if you watch my vlog shall you'd already know like no i do not have a man i do not even hide it i'm currently not speaking to any guy at all like the dating pool is so messy and raz. I'm just like, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not taking this. And one thing about me, I am not going to settle. I mean, I think for the past year, like during my NYC, I didn't speak to any guy. Like I was just chilling, honestly. I was just like, you know what? I'm stressed with work, being a creator, just showing up for myself, still trying to have a hobby, trying to read a book, trying to watch movies, still trying to sleep. Having a man could not just fit into that schedule. No, I was just going way too hard as a creator. I just did not want any distraction. So when I finished my service now, obviously I was like, okay, you know what? Let me see if I could just put myself out there a bit, see if the dating pool has changed because maybe what I left, just the ghetto. I, I was just not going back to that. And like I said, I was not, I'm not going to settle. So I was like, you know, I went on first date, absolute trash. He was so razz. I was like, oh, ooh, child, nope. Second guy, I was like, okay, in the spirit of giving men grace, let me just try again. I spoke to this guy, like, why were you even texting me? It was good, it was calm. 
we went to have lunch it was just like we're just in very different like i would have like an update on tiktok shop because i did like a get ready with me it's just very different and maybe it's just because i'm just so used to like not having a man like now it's just like just don't have patience for nonsense because i'll tell you guys like what he did shine the vlogs just stay tuned for the vlogs because even happened this week it was just this week i just said it to just ghost i was just like no i can't do this like i just know that nothing can come out of this you know when you, you already know that nothing can come out of this nothing can come out of this so i'm just like there's no way i'm staying like and i don't just talk to men meaninglessly like i'm just i'm not just going to like be texting you and like i don't need to text you i have my friends i'll text them i'll take myself out jigger so like it's not going that deep for me jigger i'm not like actively searching like i said but i'm open to like dating like why right now am i really open again the past two days i just had get to i'm not even gonna lie like get over but yeah i do not have a man and i don't know if that will change anytime soon i mean whatever god wants for me at this point because i've said it that i cannot pick a man myself even because i it's like i just keep picking like the <sighs> no words the next question love your routine content are you a lawyer by profession i feel like i've already answered the second part thank you so much um i want you guys actually let me know in the comments what you would like to see on my youtube channel because i feel like for this month i don't know when law school and everything will start but for this month and next month i want to actually be on my zoom i don't want to push it for maybe two videos a week but it's just like i don't know what to film because i'm a vlogger if that makes sense and there's only so much you can vlog even this week now no vlog is going on because i didn't do anything this week like i was just like chilling and sulking basically because i was just like oh, okay i have to face life now do you care but at the same time i just want you guys to tell me what you want to see on youtube especially because i want to actually just start creating creating and editing and just putting it out because me and i'm not doing anything else for now so i might as well just be on my zoom and make my youtube money okay so just let me know what you want to see and you have it but the thing now if you guys are telling me hair makeup my makeup videos don't do well my hair videos as much as i love to do them they don't do well but i feel like i will still film them though because i mean i might just be lucky and one video just go and get one million views like who knows but yeah my hair videos don't really do well and it takes a lot of work to actually get those videos out editing it filming it <sighs> let's see sure i plan to put out like hair content soon but yeah aside hair and makeup what else do you guys think i can put out like i don't know just let me know what you think this is the next and the last question how did i get my job and how was i able to juggle working and being a creator i feel like the second part i've kind of like answered it but how did i get my job honestly guys i reached out this was actually the first job that i know that i didn't get any reference anything so when i was at camp i was already like thinking because i was like i don't want nyc to post me themselves i don't know where they were going to throw me so i was like you know what let me actually like search myself and i had already scrapped out a lot law firm banking all of that things i just know that i would have to be there like that one there's no work from home type thing i already called them out of the list so i was down to um what were the options actually the main thing i had was marketing because i was like marketing is not too far from content creation in any way like i don't want a situation where i go to work and i'm in a totally different headspace i just wanted to be in a creative agency something marketing wise anyways i went on google and i typed marketing agencies in lagos i think i got three options so i saved those three i went to their website went to their social media then i checked and it was down to two because the last one i didn't really see anything on them so i was like no then i ended up picking one so i sent an email funny how i was going with like jeremy i don't know if you guys remember jeremy but i was with him that he was like no just reach out like what's the worst that happened so i sent email we even drafted the email together sent it went back to obs we're just chilling next night i got a call like less than an hour as i sent that email i was like oh this is something i'm like i was not telling jeremy i like the call like you know like oh they wanted to be meeting with me i think the meeting was that same day and then i remember being under the hot sun just being like they were like ah, you're still at camp I said yes i am but yeah that was just basically it and then my email obviously i told them that oh i'm this then attached my cv all of that i don't know i can't really remember what i wrote but i know that it was just like maybe like three paragraphs but it was okay for them to reach out to me it was definitely okay attached my cv and things i didn't even have hopes of getting it because i was like law marketing like would they even consider me but you see just anything you want to do just reach out like go for it like you don't really know but yeah that was it they now called me had our meeting and that was basically how i got it then when i got back to lagos i went there just started how was i able to juggle it like i said it was a hybrid working system so i was at the office just twice i was at home so some days i could be having my meeting and i'll be doing my guarantee with me i'll just be listening finish my talk talk i'll go down so it's just balance you just have to prioritize and make sacrifices some days you don't sleep some days you sleep <laughs> but yeah that's basically it we'll come to the end of this video thank you guys so 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 much for watching i don't know what's next i don't know what's going to happen after this i don't know what the future holds but i'm just really really grateful to every single one of you that has been here right from when i started my channel right from uni and to the new besties that we got on the way i literally just want to say thank you to you guys as well thank you so much i just 
just thank you i don't even know if thank you you know but thank you because if you guys weren't watching the videos i wouldn't have been motivated to you know keep posting i don't know honestly i don't know but yeah i'm just really really grateful to you guys but yeah please follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok repost my content reshare on your stories anytime you see whenever you're watching my videos post on your page and tag me and i will repost it just support me in any way you can because this is more like the serious point we're getting there but yeah thank you guys so much and i hope to see you in my next weekly vlog or whatever video comes after this i really hope you guys stick around I feel like i'm forgetting something my aliexpress affiliate link i have my aliexpress affiliate links in my description box so be sure to check it out and you know go crazy go shopping like i always say <sighs> i will see you guys in the next one bye